Factsverse presents 12 Powerful Facts About Hurricanes Hurricane season begins June 1st and it ends November 30th. If you've ever experienced a hurricane yourself, you know how scary they can be. Between the strong winds, the heavy rains, the flooding, hurricanes can be devastating. We have 12 powerful facts about hurricanes that you might not know. First, help us spread the word about Facts First by clicking that like button. Also, be sure to subscribe and click the notification bell so you don't miss our future videos. Storms are only called hurricanes in North America. A tropical cyclone is a low-pressure system that draws energy from the warm ocean water. When a tropical cyclone matures in the Atlantic or the eastern Pacific Ocean, it's called a hurricane. If it happens in Asia, though, it's called a typhoon. If it happens anywhere else in the world, it's called a cyclone. Hurricanes come in all shapes and sizes. All hurricanes are not the same. Some are so disorganized it takes weather experts to spot them. Hurricanes can be as small as only a few miles across. Others can be as large as half of the United States. And that was the case with Typhoon Tip in the western Pacific Ocean in 1979. The smallest tropical storm ever recorded was Tropical Storm Marco in 2008. It only extended 12 miles from the eye of the storm, which is smaller than the length of Manhattan. When there's a hurricane, you just never know how big or small it's going to be. The eye wall is the greatest danger in a hurricane. Hurricanes have spiraling bands of wind and rain that radiate from the center, and that's what gives hurricanes their distinctive buzzsaw shape. While these bands can be damaging and cause flooding and tornadoes, the worst part of the hurricane is the eye wall. It's a tight group of thunderstorms raging in the center of the storm. The most severe wind occupies the eye wall. The most severe damage it occurs when this part of the storm comes on shore. The eye of a hurricane is very warm. Because hurricanes are tropical, the eye of the storm is very warm. It forms when the air rushes down from the upper levels of the atmosphere and fill the void that's left by the low air pressure close to the surface. The air dries out and it heats up very rapidly. In the case of an intense hurricane, the temperature of the eye can reach 80 degrees, despite thousands of feet above the Earth's surface being very cold. You can learn a lot about a hurricane by its eye. The eye of the hurricane can tell you a lot about it and what you should expect. If the eye is ragged and asymmetrical, it means the storm is struggling to gain strength. If it is round and smooth, though, it means the storm is very strong and stable. A tiny eye, also known as a pinpoint eye, means that it will be a very intense storm. Hurricanes can have two eyes. The eye of a storm doesn't last forever. Storms can go through a process called the eye wall replacement cycle where a storm develops a new eye to replace the old one. During this cycle, the storm can weaken. However, when that new eye forms, it can become even more intense than it was with the first eye. An example of this was Hurricane Matthew in October of 2016. The impact of that storm was less severe because the eye wall replacement occurred right before it made its closest approach to land. The strong winds are only part of the danger. The strong winds caused by hurricanes, that's what you normally hear about on the news. But the wind itself isn't the most dangerous part of a hurricane. More than half of the deaths resulting from hurricanes are due to storm surges or the ocean water that gets pushed to the immediate coast. It isn't just the coastal areas that can be flooded during a hurricane either. During hurricanes Katrina and Sandy, the water was pushed so far inland that homes miles from the coast were still submerged in water. California rarely ever experiences tropical cyclones. Even though California occupies hundreds of miles of coastline, there are rarely ever tropical cyclones there. It's nothing like the East Coast, which seems to face hurricanes every year, many of them. It's because the ocean water in California is too cold to sustain a storm like that. There have been a few storms recorded in California, and the worst one hit San Diego in 1858. Hurricane hunters fly right into the storm. Satellite and radar imagery can tell us a lot about a storm, but we can get more information from hurricane hunters. 
They're a group of very brave people from the Air Force and the NOAA who fly specifically outfitted airplanes right into the eye of the storm. They measure the winds and report their findings. This all started in World War II, and it's been an important storm-measuring tool ever since. Hurricane hunters drop sensors to measure the waves Hurricane hunters have all sorts of tools to gauge the strength of a storm. Their tools can measure wind, pressure, temperature, and moisture. There are weather radars on board that give them a detailed view of the storm. They also drop sensors into the ocean that measure the waves and the sea foam, which can estimate how strong the wind is on the surface. We started naming storms to keep track of them. We started naming storms in the 1950s in order to help keep track of them. When two storms are happening at the same time, it's hard for meteorologists to talk about them without confusing the public. Since then, naming hurricanes has become a worldwide thing. Today, the Atlantic Ocean and the Pacific Ocean receive a list of alternating male and female names, and they are reused every six years. Names are retired if a storm was incredibly destructive. If a storm was particularly destructive, the name is retired out of respect for the families of the storm victims as well as the survivors. When a name is retired, a new name with that same letter takes its place. Hurricane Katrina was retired, and for good reason. In 2018, the names Florence and Michael were retired due to the damage they caused. They have been replaced with Francine and Milton, which will be used when the list is reused in 2024. Subscribe for more!